Today on the channel from the latest WrestleMania Mattel Elite Wave, we build the Howard Finkel Build-A-Figure, and we rank the entire wave from my least favorite to my favorite. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back for another Build-A-Figure WWE Mattel Elite and this time we've got Howard Finkel and in the back half we're going to rank from my least favorite to my favorite the entire Wrestlemania Elite lineup but of course for all your Wrestlemania Elite needs and all your wrestling figure needs make sure you're hitting up ringside collectibles use discount code Kyle Save yourself 10%. Got to get a deal out there. And I've already put together the Build-A-Figure Howard Finkel. I will say the left arm on this one didn't go in so tight. And we've seen some of these Build-A-Figures not snap together as easy as we would like them to. So your mileage may vary, as we usually say on these. But we're going to dive into it. And as you can see, he fits on a ringside collectible stand. Make sure you get your Mattel stands over there at ringside collectibles. But let's go through the accessories here. Let's go through the figure. Then we'll compare it to the prior edition of Howard Finkel from the Elite line as well. But we do get an extra set of hands with Howard. We get the open hands right here. Two gripping hands out of the package for Mr. Howard Finkel. Then we get the classic throwback old school WWE microphone with this one. WWE logo in yellow. Big heavy mic here. Of course, a throwback to yesteryear when Howard Finkel was on the microphone. But now we're going to dive into Howard himself right here. And Howard Finkel, the voice of a generation, really, of course, around for a long time. Wasn't he, I believe, like the first WWE employee way back in the day, WWF at the time? Uh, and Howard Finkel, it's weird, we did get a figure from him way back when as part of, I believe it was the Mattel Flashback Basics line. Uh, wasn't it base? I think it was the Basics line. We used to get Build-A-Figures in the Basic line, uh, Walmart exclusive especially. We got J.J. Dillon, I believe Howard Finkel, but he was a Walmart exclusive. It feels like just the other day we got that, but it's been a heck of a long time. And once again, it was a Walmart exclusive back then. So quite a few people did miss out on that Howard Finkel. So now you got another opportunity. Hopefully we got some differences between the two. We'll find out shortly here. But we're going to start off with the head sculpt. You know that's Howard Finkel. You got that hairdo going on. Might even make the Hulkster blush with that hairdo there. Uh, but brown hair on the Howard Finkel. Bald on the top. Big old push broom. A standard uh, Howard Finkel uh, facial hair, of course. And he's kind of got that smiley, happy, younger Howard Finkel face on him right there but besides that you pop the head off here you basically just have a suited body would be great for customizers maybe you got a howard finkel uh, figure from the past you're good with that howard finkel you could pop a different head on here make this a different figure if you wanted to so a little customizing opportunity with this one if you want to he does got black bow tie on got the black jacket over the top black on the arms black on the legs Black shoes. Playing all those Johnny Cash hits is what we're playing right here today. His arm does go all the way around for us. As I said, this arm over here, finally got it to stick in, but it was uh, giving me a little bit of fits, as my grandma would say. You do get the bicep cut. Double jointed. Pinless elbows. Playing the hits. Hands back, forth, side, side, removable. Head back, forth, side, side, up, down, removable. Waist articulation right there. Got those big old Finkel splits in a suit. Not so bad right there. Leg does go up. Thigh cut, double jointed, pinless knees. You know we're here for that. Ankles a little back and forth, a little up and down. Pretty much your standard Mattel articulation in this day and age right here. And as we saw, he does fit on a Mattel ringside stand. And you got to put that microphone in his hand. He's got to have the microphone. Wish we had that big drop-down microphone from the ceiling that you used to get back in the early 80s, 70s, 60s. You know how it goes from there. But a good Howard Finkel for what it is, the voice of a generation. When do we get Lillian Garcia? Is she going to be next in the announcers? It would be a good one to have. Of course, we did get her back in the Jax days. Don't forget that. But it would be cool to have a Lillian Garcia from Mattel. Wouldn't mind that as a Build-A-Figure down the road. But I do got another Howard Finkel somewhere here right in front of my face. How about that? Uh, we do get the prior edition of Howard Finkel. Very, very similar. This time we get the pinless joints, which is an improvement there. Uh, different suit coat jacket on this one compared to the last one. 
Same microphone going on, a little lighter in the skin tone color, and we do got a different head sculpt on Howard Finkel. So there is enough differences to be dangerous here. Uh, there is a diff enough differences to count these as separate figures. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So Howard Finkel rides again. Not sure we'll ever get another Howard Finkel in the line. So if you're looking for a Howard Finkel, this is going to be your best chance to get one right there, part of this WrestleMania Elite set. But speaking of the WrestleMania Elite set, let's bring everybody out there, including Howard Finkel, and we're going to rank the entire line from my least favorite to my favorite. All right, let's get down to business. Let's rank the WrestleMania Elite line from my least favorite to my favorite. Remember, this is my list, so it's 100% right, just like your list could be 100% right if you put it in the comments down below. But we got five total figures right here. Of course, we're going to start at number five, work our way to number one. So there you go. So start off at number five. Uh, unpopular opinion, maybe. I'm going to go Howard Finkel at number five. Obviously not a wrestler. A guy that I had before. We showed it just in this very video. So I really didn't need another Howard Finkel. Yes, there's differences, which I appreciate. But for me personally, I didn't need another Howard Finkel. I would have liked to seen a Lillian Garcia or somebody else like that. Somebody we've never got before. But for those that never got Howard Finkel, it definitely is a needed part of your Legends collection. So it makes sense to me. But for me... Howard Finkel going to come in at number five right here. Now it gets a little bit tougher, I will say. Uh, we're going to go to number four here. Number four and number three a little bit close. And that's usually how it kind of goes here, uh, back and forth between these ones. But you know what? I'm going to go number four, Bianca, just by a hair. Uh, nothing really wrong with this figure. A very good representation here. I like the head sculpt on this one. I like the removable glasses, of course. Earrings, not a big fan of that one. We've had a lot of Biancas, but this is one we haven't had in a while. And this is a good improvement over prior figures. Maybe not the ultimate, but prior elites. A fun figure for what it is, but somebody's got to be number four. She's going to be number four. But now we're going to hit the middle of the road. We're going to hit number three. Number three for me, going to be the Hulkster. Hulkamania at number three here. Say what you want, it's not an iconic Hulk Hogan. It's a street gear, retired Hulk Hogan coming out to talk to the crowd. It is a cool for what it is. It's an upgrade from the basics back in the day. I could see customizers jumping into this one and making some different figures as well. So good for what it is. We're celebrating 40th anniversary of Hulkamania. It works as part of that. But it's not the must-have Hulkster people need in their collection. That's why he's coming in at number three, which leaves two left. And they both got pink on. Who's prettier in pink? We're going to find out right here today. We're going Seth Rollins, number two. Brett Hitman Hart, number one. I like this Seth Rollins a lot more than I anticipated. Would have probably been number one if he had real fur chest hair, but not the cards, not the cards. But man, this one stands out in these hot pink pants. Obviously, WrestleMania 39, I was there. Maybe a little bias to that as well. Same with Bianca. I just feel this one feels a little bit unfinished. Feels like it needs a little bit more entrance gear to it is what it is at this point but i do like this as we've got to see a seth rollin figures over the last couple of years this one will stand out on a shelf as uh, the bright vibrant colors really give it a little extra pizzazz and brett hitman hart probably my favorite wrestler of this bunch right here absolutely love this i love wrestlemania 4 i'll never forget the whole bad news brown angle with the trophy and all that really could have used the trophy that would have really brought it home really disappointed we didn't get that there but this is a prime time when I was a kid, Bret Hitman Hart. I close my eyes, I think of Bret Hart. This is kind of a, the outfit I think of him in. Of course, he's had a many similar over the years. And I like this head sculpt. Say what you will. I know some people are probably going to say they don't like it. Uh, vast improvement over some of the last ones we've had. I really like this one. It is a total package WrestleMania 4 Bret Hart. A must-have for my collection. Coming in hot at number one in the WrestleMania Elite line. But how about you guys and gals out there? Once again, put your list in the comments down below. Put them in order. Hard part, but also the fun part. We'd love to hear what you guys and gals think of this line right here. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to both of my YouTube channels. Check out the Patreon for early access to this video and plenty of other content. And the best way to support the channel. You can also support the channel at .com. My book, The Complete Guide to the WWE Jax Class Superstar Series, available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and now Kindle Edition. Check it out if you have not. Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and Instagram. So for WrestleMania Elites, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.